So hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll look at arithmetic progression, which is one of the types of uh, sequences that we considered in our previous video. If you have not seen that, it will be nice that you check. Okay, so what is an arithmetic progression, which is also called a linear sequence? So we said that it is a type of sequence uh, in which there is a, you know, a constant difference between two consecutive uh, terms so if you have a sequence and then you take any two consecutive terms and then you check their difference and you see that uh, they have the same value um, you say that that sequence is a linear sequence so such sequences are actually generated by adding that constant value to a term to get a, a, the next term so for instance now if i have t1 now so my t2 is going to be t1 plus that that particular difference that you are talking about that constant number and we said that that constant number is called common difference and we represent it with d okay so that means my t2 is going to be t1 plus d and so from here you can see that there is a beautiful concept to be noted here and what is that that to, for you to get the common difference of any linear sequence all you need to do is if you take this over to this side you're actually going to get t2 minus t1 is equal to d that means d which is a common difference is equal to tn minus tn minus 1 that means a particular term minus the previous term gives you the common difference of that particular sequence remember it's not the other way around for example this is um, an example of an arithmetic progression 2 5 3 11 so whenever you see the sequence increasing it means that there is a positive common difference so but if the sequence is decreasing like what we have here it means that there is what a negative common difference so for you to get the common difference here just take any term then subtract the previous term so if I take 5 now I subtract the previous term and that gives me 5 minus 2 that means the common difference D here is actually equal to what 3 and while your a being the first term is equal to 2 okay so and if you do that here if you take any term here let's assume we pick this one now so 0 now minus 10 is going to give us the common difference as what negative 10 so you can see it is decreasing and that's why the common difference is what negative so this formula helps us to find the common difference of any linear sequence all right now after this the next thing we want to look at if you are given a sequence is it possible to find any term of that sequence so we talk about the nth term of an AP. So the nth term of an AP, how do you find, for example, in this sequence, uh, we just this sequence just stopped around term 4, that's T4. Can we find T10? Can we find T30, T100, T1 million, uh, you know, in, of this sequence? Because with this, it means that this is an infinite sequence, so it continues to infinity. So can we find any particular term that we want? And so we call that the nth term of an ap so and how do you do that so you recall that your t1 is your a and from what we said here it means that your t2 is going to be a plus the common difference which is d and then your t3 is going to be equal to a plus d then plus another d and so you're going to have 2d here and so if you continue like this you're going to get T4 to be A plus 3D. And so as we keep going, it means that our Tn for any N here, you are going to have A plus. So you can see the, the difference here is that the number here is reduced by 1 and then multiplied by D. So that means if I take the N here, remove 1 from it and multiply it by D, I would have gotten the formula to calculate any term of a particular linear sequence okay so and this formula gives us the nth term of any linear sequence just 
subtract 1 from the n, multiply by your d, and then add it to the a being the first uh, term. And that gives you the term you are looking for. So we are going to look at some examples. Okay, look at these uh, two beautiful examples here. Right, the first one says we should find the 20th term and the 36th term of this sequence. So, and in doing this, the first thing that you must do is to list those parameters that you would need. First of all, let's write our formula. Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. So, you would need your a, your n, and your d to find what you're looking for. And so, for the first one, our n is 20. And so, what is our a from the sequence? Our a is equal to 9. And so, plus... And what is our n? 20 minus 1. That will give us 19 times d. Our d was given. And the d, sorry, it wasn't given, but we can always find that. And how do you find d? Recall I said that d is equal to, take any term here, subtract the previous. So we take 6 minus 9, and that will give us minus 3. So you multiply this by minus 3. And when you do that, you are going to have 9. This is going to be negative um, 57 minus 57. And so that gives our T20 to be equal to minus 48 as our answer. Okay. So and that's for the first example. And I would like you to do the second one. Find the value of E36. All right, so quickly we go to example two here. Example two here says that the third term of an AP is given as 10. Okay, so to begin here, we say solution. Our third term is given as A, so that means T3 is equal to 10. And the common difference D is equal to 2. So we are asked to find the first term. Whenever you are given this kind of problem, in fact, it is possible you can be asked to find solve this kind of problem without asking you to find the first term. Because for you to find T5, you actually would need the first term. Following this formula here, to find any term, you will need your A and the N and the D. Okay, so the N here is 5 and the D is already given. So common sense says that you must get your first term to be able to get T5. So, but this person has actually helped us by asking us to find it first. Okay, so now let's do that. So, for the first one, to find our A, we are going to make use of the information we are given. And the only information given here is T3. But we know that T3 is equal to A plus 2D. That's if you do N minus 1. That's 3 minus 1. Okay, and that will give you 2D. And so... This means that A plus 2D, A plus 2D is going to be equal to what? 10. All right. And so if that happens, then uh, our D is 2. So that means A plus 4, which is 2 times 2, is equal to 10. Therefore, our A is equal to 6. So we have gotten the value of A as 6. And so to get our um, T5, all we need to do is to write our formula a plus uh, t5 is going to be 4d n minus 1 is 4d and so our a is 6 plus 4 times uh, uh, d d is 2 and that will give you 8 therefore our t5 is equal to 14 and that's the solution to this problem so we'll quickly look at uh, the next example now the next example here says that we are giving uh, t6 and t3 and uh, you are asked to find t12 okay so solution so here our t3 is given as um okay they gave us t6 first let's start with that so our t6 is given as 34 and um uh, what does this mean you remember that t6 is going to be a plus 5d, if you remove 1 from your n, is given as 34. So we can call this first equation. And then they gave us t3 as 16. Is here, they said respectively. 
16. So what does this mean? This means that a plus, remember 3 here, you remove 1, that means 2d is going to be equal to 16. So we can call this equation 2. So if we solve these two equations simultaneously, what's going to happen? So you would see that uh, if we do use elimination, A will cancel A here. 5D minus 2D will give us 3D. And that's equal to 34 minus 16 will give us 18. And so if we divide both sides here by 3, um, what happens? If this goes away, we will get that our D is equal to 6. Okay, now, meanwhile, what are we doing here? To be able to find T12, like I said, our T12 is going to be equal to A plus N minus 1, and our N here is 12, that's 11 times D. So we need our A and our D, and that's why we are doing this, to find the A and D. So I've gotten D. So to find A, we can substitute D into any of these two equations. So assuming we use equation 2, which says that uh, a plus 2d is equal to 16. So that means a alone is equal to 16 minus 2d. And we have gotten d as 6. So 2 times uh, 6 is 12. Therefore, our a is 4. Okay, so if you bring this into this particular formula now to get our t12, so we are going to have a, which is 4, plus 11 times d, which is 6. And that's going to give us, this is 66 plus 4 is equal to what? 70. And that's the solution to this uh, last example. Okay, so and that's how to solve problems on nth term of an AP. Or to find the nth term of an AP or to find any term, first term, or to find a common difference and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is where we'll stop for this video. and. Um, Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment, like, and share our video, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.